Hello guys, so kumusta kayong lahat dyan? Okay pa ba yung ports nyo? Puro ba green or uh, may mga red pa rin? So guys, uh, ako naman ay uh, nag-online na naman or nag-record na naman ulit ng uh, panibagong video kasi may nabasa lang ako kaninang uh, post na nagtatanong kung good to buy pa ba si Mac kasi nag-skyrocket si Mac so isa to sa mga stocks na in this week nag-skyrocket so ngayon guys uh, ipapakita ko sa inyo ano yung uh, insight ko at ano yung analysis ko for Mac is it good to buy or, or what so we'll be looking at Mac at the fundamental level then after that we will check whether uh, what price is it good to buy or we, should we really buy or uh, we should wait for the pullback so are you ready so let's go so i'm using investing.com so just type mac and now here it is and uh okay i pwede ko nang i minimize yung uh, ano ko camera so ito yung mac at uh, tingnan natin si Mac at the fundamental level muna kasi very important yan bago bago, bago po tayo mag uh, invest uh, napaka importanteng tingnan muna yung fundamentals kasi it's one of the most important uh, factor to consider before you invest of course if you are trading you may not uh, really check this out but in my case I do check this because for me it's very important So, yun. Uh, oh, nag, may nag, ano, yung ano ko, isa kang stock nag, ano, ng alert. Nag-open kasi ngayon yung ano, US stock market. So, yun, know, na-trigger yung ano ko, price alert. So, I will check this out after my my recording. So, okay. So, financial then. Let's just look at the uh, Mac at the uh, high level point of view. So, at simplihan lang natin. Hindi natin kailangan maging accountant dito para ma-analyze si Mac fundamentally. So, let's check at the quarter uh, level first. Then, after that, we need to check annually. So, okay. First and foremost is the income statement. Dapat income statement is really increasing. And as you can see, the bar graphs here, net income is increasing. That's good. Green. Uh, next is uh, the balance sheet. So we have blue the assets, the grays the liabilities. So basically, uh, in general, we need to have uh, more assets than liabilities. So sa tingin niyo ba? Okay. So yun. Parang 20%. This is actually one of the criteria of an ideal uh, company with, which has a durable intrinsic competitive advantage. Sabi nga ni ano. Uh, Lolo Warren Buffett. So, dapat yung ano yung uh, ratio between uh, liabilities versus asset should be 20% or below. That defines a company that has an intrinsic durable competitive advantage. So, okay to. This is green. And another thing is that uh, the total equity. So, magkano nga ba yung pera nila at hand? Pag bawasan natin yung mga utang, bayaran natin yung mga utang, ano yung mga matitira? So, there may asset minus liability, we have the equity. So, the equity must be rising from 2000. So, quarterly, it is rising, as you can see. That's very, very good. Then, uh, next, cash flow. So, the good uh, uh, indicators for a good company and cash flow should have a positive cash flow. So, ito yung uh, yung uh, positive cash flow yung isang company. It allows them to to invest more. So, if a company is able to invest more, then it has a potential to uh, gain more profits compared to a company which is uh, somehow struggling to make a negative cash flow to become positive. So, yun. So, tingnan lang natin yung net change in cash. So, dapat yung net change in cash increasing yan. So, basically, as you can see from September, medyo negative cash flow sila. But, the good thing is that they were able to convert that negative cash flow into positive one. That's a good thing. But, if the company is not able to convert that negative to, to um, 
positive one that is a red flag guys so avoid the company please so pas uh, positive cash cash flow at the last june pero so far wala pa yung ano sa third quarter so abangan din natin yan ano nga ba yung magiging result ni ni um, macro asia in terms of its cash flow so kailangan positive yan i mean uh, yeah positive and higher than this so ngayon naman guys uh, tingnan natin that was uh, quarterly so tingnan natin yung annual level so uh, as you can see 2013 medyo negative sila walang earnings so pero the next year 2014 15 and 16 it's rising and then uh, there should be a rising uh, net earnings as well in the end of this year to have a re really a good uh, uh, outlook for this uh, macro asia as a company so yeah so income statement good except this 2013 but uh, we can ignore that since it's already long time ago so dito sa net income dapat uh, yun rising na so yun uh, dito naman balance sheet ganun pa rin that is around 20 or 25 percent uh, liabilities compared to its assets that's really very very good if you look at uh, Ayala Corporation and SM although they are really big blue chips companies but uh, if you will see their liabilities compared to its assets they are really really high so but this one uh, macro Asia is quite good and the equity so the money which is uh, in their hands are good it's rising so that's the green one what about the cash flow so Oh, tingnan nyo. Uh, after 2016, it was it became negative cash flow. But uh, as uh, you remember earlier, you uh, they could, they were able to change negative cash flow to positive one, which is good. And they must be consistent on making it positive. So that's good, guys. So fundamentally, this is good. Uh, fundamentally, macro Asia. So now, uh, since we knew that. Uh, we now know that uh, macro Asia is fundamentally good. We will now try to check what price to buy macro Asia. So technical analysis. So let's pull out the chart. Macro Asia. And then uh, for a while. Uh, okay, let's uh, uh, maximize. And as you can see, it's really bullish trend in a daily chart. Let's use candlesticks. So, guys, as you can see, the last day today, which is today, yun nga, nag skyrocket from 21 pesos to 23.9, almost 24 pesos, with really uh, convincing volume. So, this is an above average volume, which is very good. So, yeah, so let's uh, change it to one hour so to, to see the uh, finer granularity of this uh, uh, chart. So as you can see, buyers are really in control on this stock with above average volume, green. So very, very nice. But the question now, guys, is that uh, this is basically good for those who are already holding macro Asia. But uh, the, the, the sad thing here is that if you are still planning to buy macro Asia, then this might not be a good time, especially if you are uh, planning to invest for uh, a kind of... Uh, midterm so for me i will uh, not buy macro asia but if you are a uh, swing trading you might you you can buy this one but uh, be, be make it sure that you will be able to get out before selling will, will start to happen so I, i'll explain to you why so basically guys we have here the last uh, resistance here see this is the last resistance and it was broken out with really conviction uh, conv uh, convincing volumes followed by uh, successive uh, buying so buyers are, are, are really in control but uh, one thing that i would like to to tell you guys so this is the air the, the consolidation part all right so okay but i, I just represent it with uh, a parallel channel all right so guys if you are a buyer or if you plan to buy a stock specifically with this macro Asia, you need to buy the stock before this skyrocketing will happen not after that so it's very important guys again uh, be there when the skyrocketing is not yet happening not 
after when it happens like this so don't buy macroasia after uh, the price is already way up high so always look for consolidation like this so it was consolidating here so when consolidating is basically build up so if the if the sellers are able to control this market then they should be able to to pull, pull down the price lower but they could not so this is uh, really uh, one of the uh, high probability setup which uh, leads to a breakout rather than breakdown but of course if we are wrong we need to set the cut loss just below the channel so somewhere like that so now let's forget about the cut loss because we are not focusing on that uh, again there is another trigger for my one of my watch list so i will get back on that so no worries so us stock kasi nag open just a few minutes ago uh, us stock market yeah so i do have a uh, us stock as well european stock so it's quite exciting there as well kasi may mga nag -show shorting sa Pilipinas wala tayo shorting kaya medyo mas mabagal ito compared to US stock. But the uh, US stock market I will I will talk about it uh, in my another video. So just don't forget to subscribe guys to my channel because you will really uh, get informed about really interesting topics that I'm talking about here. So it's not just, you know, the common uh, topics that uh, you can see in the YouTube. I try to be unique as much as possible. And, you know, my main goal is really to help as many Kababayans as I can. I do stock mentoring. I if yeah, I do a stock mentoring, of course, there is a fee. So nobody will, will uh, give it to you for free. So, yeah, but it's not so expensive, guys. So try to, to, to message me. I do have also my uh, uh, FB shop. Uh, okay, uh, just ah, right now I'm just uh, promoting to you because I'm just uh, ano tayo. Uh, na mention ko naman so yon. Ito yung FB shop ko. Just uh, go there and then um, with stock mentor nail page. That's, that's the name of the FB shop. Then you can find the products that I have services. I mean. So I have a weekly stock updates, which is only 200 per month, and but the minimum subscription is three months. So 200 per month, guys. What is 200 per month? Mas malaki nga pa masahin niyo sa ano eh, jeep or bus. So 200 per month for me here in Europe is just a cup of coffee, a cappuccino. So pang kape ko lang yan, guys. So don't worry, I'm not really stealing your money. So I just want really to help those uh, kababayans uh, that who are really willing to invest do not want or do not have time to analyze the market so basically i do the the hard job already to analyze the market and you just need to mirror my analysis and then i have also this uh, recorded session uh, so I, dito muna. so stock mentoring via online so i do it via google hangout we can share screen we can talk about the fundamental analysis and technical analysis i will explain it to you you can ask me right away so it's not just uh, watching in youtube that you are watching the video but nobody is answering your question when you have so stock mentoring is really uh napupunan agad yung ano pangailangan nyo pag uh, meron kayong mga tanong agad itong nasasagot so hindi ka na makukonfuse so that's the disadvantage of just watching a video alone and reading books as well it's the same but in stock mentoring it's really an interactive uh, session one on one, I maximum two people in in one session. This is the price, so that's not really so high if you compare it to attending a seminar. And attending a seminar, really, basically, you need to go to a, a place to attend the seminar, and you are paying quite high, like uh, minimum ten thousand or fifteen thousand. Just check out other other seminars out there. But stock mentoring online, you just go to your room, kahit na kapajama ka palang, pwede ka na mag matuto mag stock market so at, at, at the good thing here is that you don't need to go home to philippines to attend the seminar conducted by filipinos uh, guru you can be in your location OFW ka pa man or nasa ibang bansa ka man or alimbawa nasa netherlands or i mean new zealand australia marami na ako naging student from all over the world so we just need to agree with time and then we can book your schedule all right so I hope that's fine. That's stock mentoring online, coverage, fundamental analysis, and technical analysis. But uh, if this price is uh, a little bit high for you, 
then you may choose the recorded session what is the recorded session guys so basically this is the recorded video from my online session so contents are the same so but of course if you have some question here while watching it you may message me that's a good thing kasi hindi ka lang uh, nangangapasa dilim kapag mayroon kang tanong so pwede kang mag pm sa akin via my stock mentor nil page uh, message so yun guys uh, you are really well guided here so just uh, let me know okay so yung mga interesado yung mga hindi naman interesado at feeling doubtful so i, I don't I, i don't mind so you, you don't really need to avail this service this is only really for those who are interested okay so right, back to macroasia na palayo na tayo naging advertisement na so sorry for that so macroasia guys if you are still planning to buy macroasia this is not the right time to buy if you are planning for a midterm or a longer term um, uh, style of investing or strategy but if you are a swing trader you may 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 buy at this price but take care because uh, it might reverse uh, sooner or later and why am i saying that so okay so by the way before that i i i try to explain that uh, earlier that uh, you must be here in this consolidation before the breakout happens that's the right technique not after when it happens like what's happening now in pxp na nagtaasan na at saka agad ka na agad kang papasok at yun naipit kasi nag reverse so that's life that's life guys when when you don't have the right strategy you will really lose money in the stock market that's really a fact so don't try it nakakamatay yan <laughs> joke lang so yun uh, that's a one hour chart guys so yun pa, uh, when is it the ba- best time to buy uh, macroasia in any kind of strategy wait for the pullback pullback so you know you you know fibonacci there is a so called retracement if it retrace pasok ka so dun at uh, hopefully it will uh, pull back but uh, okay let's see let's say that you want to get in kasi gusto mo nga mag swing trading all right so let's pull out macd let's pull out cci for momentum indicator and reversal let's uh, check rsi so this three guys is already enough so you do, really don't need to make your uh, trades complicated so much simpler much uh, better all right kasi pag marami nang mess dito yung brain mo ren uh, medyo napapagod din mag-process ng napakaraming information so as simple as you can you can really analyze and win in the stock market all right so guys you can see this is a positive momentum a pricing momentum right so for, if you are swing trading this is a good time to enter enter but uh, as you can see this uh, cci is already uh, reversing back so once it reaches uh, back to 100 this uh, level then that's a sell signal so but right now there is no sell signal yet it's just in a kind of level where uh, it's uh, trying to to build momentum so yung mga momentum traders dito pa lang pumasok na sila so san yan san yan so dito so na mag break out so yan nga yung tamang time di ba sabi ko kanina consolidation is the best uh, point to enter your trade bucket kasi this is also the most logical level wherein you can uh, set your cut loss somewhere below here but if you enter here where where is your logical cut loss here there is no logical cut loss your cut loss is somewhere here, way 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 below so your uh, um, risk to reward ratio is quite uh, really bad in that case so yeah so that cci and then rsi is already already uh, overbought right so pag overbought hindi na magandang uh, bilhin yan but you want to swing trade so abangan mo lang is that uh, this must be a uh, rising tr- trend so once mag reverse yan maglampas dito sa trend na yan it's a sign that it will the the rsi is already running out of gas so it's going to reverse and then you must exit right away all right so yun guys uh, so for mid term or long term it's not yet the best way to buy mac so wait until the pullback for swing trading much better if you wait a pullback 
or you may enter now but take care kasi pwedeng mag-reverse yung, yung uh, trend uh, anytime soon. Alright guys, so so yan. So I hope guys na marami kayong uh, nakuhang uh, lessons dito. At uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can uh, always get updated about uh, my latest uh, uploads. Alright guys, so pag mayroon kayong mga request na stock, just post it in the COL uh, trade or or in the group of COL or just write uh, to me via private message or in my stock mentor nil page and I will try to find time to analyze it for you. And uh, hanggang sa muli guys, I, I will not uh, make it any longer. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye guys!